The songwriter writes and says, In the land of Fedless Day lies a city four square, a city where there is no death. This is a promise that we have been given by a loving God. I see the disciples seated and they are in deep pain thinking that the master they have walked with for three and a half years has just told them that he is living. Then Jesus stands up and looks at them, sees through their hearts and sees the agony. Then he says, let not your heart be troubled. Believe in me and believe in the Father. In my Father's house there are many mansions. In other words, Jesus makes a promise and all the promises that Christ has made, they have come to be so. So when he promises the disciples, there is an assurance that his promises are going to be true. His promises are going to happen. Dear friends, there is a promise in Revelation chapter 21, a promise where God is saying there is a land of fadeless day. There is a land that Christ is preparing for us. The millennium has finished. The thousand years, they, 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 they are gone. Now the new earth is coming. The new earth is, it has been brought forth after Jerusalem has come down. We see a new earth being ushered, a new earth being put before us, a place of dwelling for the children of God. The Bible says, Then I saw a new heaven and a new earth. For the first heaven and the first earth passed away and there was no longer any sea and i saw the holy city new jerusalem coming down out of heaven from god made ready as a bride adorned for her husband dear friends when the songwriter says a land of fadeless day a land with no pain he meant it all even the promises of god how I wish, dear friends, to live in a land where I don't queue for bread, for Christ is the bread of life. Where I don't need to pay ESCOM just because Christ is the light. In other words, dear friends, a land where we are going, we are going to tabernacle with God. We are going to sit with God. We are not going to be kneeling down to look for God, but His presence, His presence, Him as the master, He is going to be with us. What a glorious day that is going to be. What a moment that all the people are being called to be. Now he concludes, he says, For God so loved the world. For God so loved the world. In other words, those loved by God, they are the ones who are going to be part of this group of people who are going to be here. That he gave his only begotten son. That whosoever, the greatest invitation ever, should not perish but have everlasting life. The greatest promise in this land. There is going to be everlasting life. No more mortuaries. What a loving God that we have. Be part of the winning team and join those who will be saved. May God bless you.